We would like to point out that the following contains mature content, which may not be suitable for children, as this podcast was created by a very immature, middle-aged man. This is... He Said, She Heard. He Said, She Heard. An original Mike Fox podcast series. Brought to you by... The Gastro Model P. Hear what's going on? <laughs> that's not what happened at all, <laughs> but that's clearly what your ears heard. 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 On a rather hectic Monday morning at the Melbourne branch of Cybergasmicistic Industries, the voices within the walls of the general manager's office sound as if business is commingling with pleasure. Just let me pull this out for you to take a good look. Wow. What do you say? I can't believe this. Yes. What's that? Sebastian? Yeah? What are you doing standing outside Neil's office door? Uh... And where's the bloody copy? Sorry, Vivian. I was making the copy, and then I heard noises. Noises of the printer? No, listen, Vivian, you hear that? I don't hear anything. Are you all right, Sebastian? Yeah, listen, I heard a man. I wasn't sure if it was Neil Poopington and... Sebastian. Yeah? It's pronounced Poe Uppington. Poppington. Besides, when I came in this morning, his parking spot was empty. So what did you allegedly hear? I hate to say it, Viv, but I think the man and the woman in there were doing little, you know... <laughs> Seriously? On that note, get me that copy. But I'm not making this up. Just remember, it was I who cleared you to work here. That's true. Even after you tested positive for opioids. It was poppy seen muffins, remember? Like that Lady Elaine from that American sitcom. Sebastian, come on. They were always made up at the coffee shop. Bastion. What was that show called? I can't remember. Just remember the bloody copy, Bastion. Oh, Vivian, on that show, what was the comedian's neighbor's name? Kramer. Oh, yeah. Kramer. Now get the copy. Creamer. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, why don't you say it in Espanol? Fantastico. Oh, dear. Hey, Vivian, what you eavesdropping over there for? What's going on in there? Is Mr. Poppington popping it to her? Get it? Oh, Bradley, it's Poe Oppington. Besides, his cat wasn't there this morning. I got an idea, Viv. Why don't we just open the door and see what's going on behind door number one? I won't even bother doing that either. <sighs> oh boy. What are you going to do then? I... I don't know what I'm going to do actually. Fantastic. Vivian, I'm looking out the window. His car just pulled in. Check it out. It's a new car. I've been up in there. I'll give you 30 seconds to get dressed. Is that setting comfortable? Yes. I think I know who the woman is at least. Who? It's probably Lucy. You know how she gets around. Stop it, Bradley. She's on vacation. Hey, this is not a hotel room, Lucy. Hey, Vivian, you still haven't looked at uh, Mr. Poppington's car in the window, have you? I got it. I'll distract him from coming in here by asking him about his car. You know what I'm going to do? <sighs> I'm going to record all this and upload it on YouTube. Put that phone down. No uploading of YouTube going on around here. You hear me? YouTube. Good morning. I heard you guys talking about uploading stuff on YouTube. Oh, hello, Mr. Poppington. It's Poppington, Bradley. Oh, uh, you could just call me Neil, if it's easier. I take it you're talking about the company's YouTube channel, right? Oh, of course. What did you want to upload on there? Oh, I never knew we could upload videos there, Mr. Popping Neil. Did you have an idea for a video? <sighs> what was that? I think that's coming from the ladies' room. Actually, Vivian wanted to talk to you about something. Yes, of course, your car. My car? What does that have to do with YouTube? Anyway, you ever heard of the Gastro Model P? Gastro Model P? No, I have not heard of that car. It's a brand new car. The most interesting feature of the car is the gas tank. Oh yes, we actually got a look at that outside the window. I see. Instead of working, you're looking out the window, admiring my beautiful car. Oh wait, Mr. Popping. Just kidding, it's okay. We'll have to continue this conversation some other time. I have to make a very important phone call, and I need to use my office line. Before you do that... Come to think of it... I need to do something before that. I better use the toilet before I head in there. Do you need a magazine? Vivian, thank you, but I don't need that much help. 
Anyway, back to work, everyone. Bradley, do me a favour. Try to keep him out of here by sending people to talk to him about his beautiful care. Hey, we'll see how that goes. He'll give them a lecture about not working. Just do it, Bradley. Okay. My God, he stunk up the whole hallway. He said, she heard. We'll return right after this. Are you enjoying the test drive? Yeah, I, I love this car. What's that noise? No fuel warning, no worries. I guess we should go back to the dealership. Nah, yeah, keep going. Really? Wow. Oh boy, something the matter? Uh, is there a toilet nearby? Yeah, oh, and we're out of gas. There's a tree over there. No one will notice. No, I gotta do a number two. Take a dump, perfect. Let's pop the gas tank then. Oh, I'm not gonna. No, come on. This stainless steel tank is also a toilet seat. Oh, I don't know. That's the best feature of this four-door sedan. What is? Fiber fuel from your poop. Come on now. There's even some spare TP in the glove compartment. Oh, I don't know. No yeah, worries. I'll sit in the car while you drop anchor. So, do you like the Gastro Model P? I love the Gastro Model P. Especially the fact that it runs on my fiber fuel. Gastro Model P. The only car that runs, even when you've got the runs. We hope you're enjoying the He Said She Heard podcast. For more information, visit he said she heard.com. Again, that's he said she heard.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. You can find us at facebook.com slash he said podcast. Again, facebook.com slash he said podcast. We now return to He Said She Heard. Bloody hell, they've locked the door. What am I going to do? Uh, eh, eh, eh. Sebastian, what are you doing? Uh, hi, Vivian. Just standing there in the hallway? Uh, like a Greek statue. Uh, what do you mean by that, Vivian? <laughs> I can't even understand you. And I can't understand why you're standing outside of Mr. Poopington's office. Powapik, never mind. Neil, call him Neil. Sebastian... I think I actually owe you an apology. Apology? What's that? When you say you're sorry. Uh, for what? You were right for a change, Sebastian. There are people in there doing something rather naughty right now. <laughs> anyway, did you get the copy finally? You know that Bob Molly song, Jammin'? What does that have to do with the bloody copy? The copy machine is, uh, is jamming, get it? Okay, if that's true, why didn't you go ahead and notify tech support? I tried to fix it on my own, so I opened up the side compartment then. The papers flew out so quickly, Viv, like zoom, 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 and the little catcher tray wasn't out. Papers went out, zoom, 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 and then right into the confetti machine. You mean the shredder? Yeah. Okay, Sebastian, you see that man there? Oh, yes, hello, how are you? He's going to tech support. Yes, you want to come with me? Yes, can you escort him to tech support? Oh, right away. Let's go. Sebastian, come on with me. Up and up in there. Up and up. Hey, Vivian, where's Sebastian going? Mind your own business, Bradley. He's just going to tech support. Up and up. Yes. Right now, I need you to help me get these people out of Mr. Poapington's office. There's people in my office? Oh, hello, Neil. Bradley, is this true? Yes. Bradley. Don't you Bradley him. What is going on in there right now? There's a man and a woman in your office. Cielo, pijama, sacaras de para que la veas. Interesting. No puede creer esto. They're doing it in different languages now. I'm very disappointed in you for not telling me about this in the first place. I guess I better head in there now and break up the party. Why don't you guys join me? The door. It's locked. Really, Vivian? Oh, hello, guys. I completely forgot you were coming today. Oh, hello, Neil. Is this your staff here at Cybergas Majestics? How did they get their clothes on so fast? What are all these cameras doing here? You remember I was telling you about the YouTube channel earlier, right? Well, this is all part of that. Oh, but this isn't a porno? Bradley. No, this isn't a porno. But these are professional actors in here. We wanted to make a video for Cybergasmicistic Industries to show that you can move up ahead in this company. But you knew these people were coming here today? Yes, I believe there was a copy that was supposed to go out about that today. I got the copy, Vivian, finally. A little bit late, Sebastian, don't you think? You see, this copy that he just handed me was about the video being filmed here today. Hey guys, the video's uploaded on YouTube already. Take a look. 
At Cybergasmicistics Industries, the possibilities are endless. Just let me pull this out for you to take a good look. Wow! A promotion. Wow! I can't believe this. This is a 10% raise. Not only that, you also get this nice, comfortable office chair. Is that setting comfortable for you? Yes! Here at Cybergasmicistics, the possibilities are endless. This was He Said, She Heard. Excuse me, actress lady, I never got your name. My name's Bradley, what's yours? Oh, hello, Bradley. My name is Penelope. Uh, Penelope, let me ask you something. Have you ever done adult films before? Well, that depends. That depends. Uh. Would this count as an adult film? Because there's workplace situations in here for adults. Would you like to have a cup of tea with me? I'm a man. Wow. Just kidding. Oh. I figured I'd give you a taste of your own medicine, since you're the office prankster around here. And I'd love to have a cup of tea with you. Great. Thought the episode was over. That's just a bonus scene. Oh, uh, what's a bonus scene? <laughs>